Welcome back to my stand-up channel. Gina Caladongello, 43, has been pictured piling her Audi's boot high with bags before driving away from the £3.6 million home she shares with her Oliver Bona's founder husband. The aide mired in the Matt Hancock affair scandal has been spotted packing up her car outside her family home. Gina Caladongello, 43, was pictured packing her car and driving away hours after learning that their dalliance was about to be exposed. Explosive pictures of the civil servant in a steamy embrace with the health secretary emerged on Friday. The Sun pictured Ms. Caladongello piling her £70,000 Audi Q7's boot high with bags before driving off from the £3.6 million home she shares with the millionaire Oliver Bona's founder, Oliver Tress. Oliver, 54, was also snapped by the newspaper speaking to Ms. Calandangelo before she left the property on Thursday evening. Rhino Caladongelo. The 70-year-old chief executive international pharmaceutical firm Rafine, has reportedly spoken with his daughter. Mr. Hancock is under fire over the encounter in Westminster, which is in breach of lockdown rules, as public anger mounts over accusations that he hired his pals into taxpayer-funded roles. Grieving families said Mr. Hancock keeping his job was a slap in the face for people who could not hug loved ones at funerals and lost family members during lockdown. Boris Johnson rejected the calls to sack his health minister on Friday after he admitted breaching the government's rules on social distancing. Mr. Hancock apologized after images emerged of him kissing the aide he appointed in his office at the Department for Health and Social Care, DHSC. Labor said that his position had become hopelessly untenable and called for him to be sacked if he was not prepared to not quit voluntarily. However a Downing Street spokesman said that Mr. Johnson had accepted Mr. Hancock's apology and now considers the matter closed. Mr. Hancock said he was very sorry for letting people down after The Sun published CCTV images of him kissing Ms. Caladongello. The paper reported that the health secretary was having an extramarital affair with Ms. Caladongello who he knew from their days together at Oxford University, and who he appointed to the DHSC last year. She was initially taken on as an unpaid advisor on a six-month contract in March last year, before being appointed as a non-executive director at the department. In a statement, Mr. Hancock said, I accept that I breached the social distancing guidance in these circumstances. I have let people down and am very sorry. I remain focused on working to get the country out of this pandemic and would be grateful for privacy for my family on this personal matter. Labour Party Chair Annalise Dodds said if Mr. Hancock had been secretly having a relationship with an advisor he appointed to a taxpayer-funded role, it was a blatant abuse of power and a clear conflict of interest. She said his admission that he had breached the rules on social distancing also meant his position in office was no longer tenable. He set the rules. He admits he broke them. He has to go. If he won't resign, the PM should sack him, she said. Despite Mr. Johnson's determination to defend his minister, Labour insisted it would continue to pursue the matter and would not allow the government simply to cover it up. Matt Hancock appears to have been caught breaking the laws he created while having a secret relationship with an aide he appointed to a taxpayer-funded job, a spokeswoman said. The Metropolitan Police said late Friday they were not investigating Mr. Hancock. A spokesman said, as a matter of course. The MPS is not investigating COVID-related issues retrospectively. The force had also not launched any investigation into how the CCTV showing the embrace had been made public. Source. Mirror.co.uk Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.